this is a cool feature they have in KDE. It's called a special window settings, and it's kind of similar to the one they have in Compass with uh, the place windows. But you'll see that in a minute that this one is superior in every way. Uh, this thing is integrated into the system. But anyways, the goal of this feature is to uh, you know keep yourself organized. Let's say you have an application and you want it to open to a specific uh, workspace, right? You can do that or to a specific size or like a specific area in your screen you can do that too you can lock it down you can do a lot of stuff with this so let me show you here so let's open a application and to get to there is right click on your title bar here and go to advance and go to uh, the settings here and in here you go to the geometry tab and let me show you some basics so let's say you want to go to a specific uh, desktop or I mean workspace uh, click on the desktop here and you want to apply it initially and then you want to, to go to uh, maybe desktop 2 so I'm going to hit OK and then close it and now when we open it again uh, it will only go into uh, workspace 2 so let me go here see that we just open it uh, that's one thing you can do with that now I said to apply initially because um, you can make changes after that so that's why I say choose that option uh, and then you can make changes like you can move it to this one you can move it to here and let's move it back otherwise if you do like another option like force let me show you if you said force it will not let you leave uh, desktop 2 okay if I did that and I try to move it it doesn't let me go and you see that's why I said initially if you want to uh, you know apply changes after force is to lock it down you cannot change after that okay uh, so let me show you some other stuff alright another example is let's say you have GIMP or pigeon buddy list or something like that and you want it to open to a specific size and position on your screen so let's say you want it uh, to be over here and you want it to be at uh, what else here at this height and this width or whatever right when you open it you can do that too so if I go advance and then go back in here and now I use the position and size here and here now if you want to force it uh, I will not let you you know change it okay if you do that look at this you cannot move it you cannot do anything to it it is locked down to that specific uh, space okay otherwise if you do uh, initially um, let me show you. Apply initially. Apply initially. Right, you can make changes, whatever you do after that. But even if you close it and you open it again, it'll always be that length and width and position on your on your screen. So I'll dig that one too. Uh, what else? Uh, another thing you can do in here. All right, let's say you 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 know you have kids in your house or maybe you run a, a cyber cafe or something and you want only uh, the browser to be uh, uh, what the user are uh, you know are able to use uh, you can do that too so let me give you an example let's say you have um, conqueror as the default browser and um, let's open this here let me see the advanced and then go to special settings uh, you can tell it to go full screen, okay? And you want it to maybe force it. You can force it if you like. And uh, you can do the uh, there was a checkbox, not really a big deal, but you can do that. And then go to preference, and you want it to skip the the well. You not want it to have no borders, okay? You want it to force it to have no borders. You want it to skip the taskbar. Uh, you can force it. Uh, there you go, right? click OK and what this would do is let me uh, close this okay now if I open Conqueror again you'll see that it's full screen and uh, you can't really do anything but surf the net you know nothing you can do here uh, uh, probably good if you have kids in your house and they mess up your um, files or something you only want them to use the internet uh, then this would be really good uh, and to get out of this, either quit it, you know, Control Q, or if you want to open the menus again, Alt F3, and you have the uh, the menus again, 
And the check boxes are the ones I tell you. It's the little thing. You can do the check boxes. Not a big deal. But uh, that's how you do that one. Uh, another feature with this is probably good if you want to do like a terminal in your background. Uh, I guess you can do that too. Other than that, this is a great feature that they have uh, that I'm digging. I, I know there's a way to do this in GNOME, but not as sexy. So that's one thing I have to say. And as far as this one over here, the, the work uh, workarounds, mainly this is, has a higher priority than these other two. Okay. Uh, but this one, like, let's say you want to maximize uh, something, but you don't want to go over a, a, sp a specific, uh, what is it, uh, length and width that you want to go to. You can do that. You can set a limit. Uh, other than that, there's a lot of other stuff that I didn't really try, but uh, play around with it. A really cool feature. You can keep yourself organized. Uh, all you got to do is just, you know, right click on the title bar and you get to there. Easy as that. So that's it for this one, uh, special Windows uh, settings in KDE. That's it.